2020 presidential campaign hit a new level tonight with the Democrats completing day number one of their convention. There was a theme tonight, We the People. And our Caroline Vandergriff joins us with some of the most memorable moments from the evening. Caroline? Doug, in this first ever virtual convention, the party replaced a crowded arena filled with enthusiastic crowds with videos edited to together from all over the country. We heard from a variety of politicians, activists, and even healthcare workers on the front line. Actress Eva Longoria Baston served as the master of ceremonies. Republican and former presidential candidate John Kasich was one of the speakers. All shared a message of unity and support for Joe Biden. But the headliners tonight were presidential candidate Bernie Sanders and former first lady Michelle Obama. This election is about preserving our democracy. During this president's term, the unthinkable has become normal. He has tried to prevent people from voting, undermined the U.S. Postal Service, deployed the military and federal agents against peaceful protesters, threatened to delay the election, and suggested that he will not leave office if he loses. This is not normal, and we must never treat it like it is. In her speech, the former first lady expressed her disappointment with what America's children are seeing from the White House and others in power right now. They see our leaders labeling fellow citizens enemies of the state while emboldening torch-bearing white supremacists. They watch in horror as children are torn from their families and thrown into cages and pepper spray and rubber bullets are used on peaceful protesters for a photo op. Sadly, this is the America that is on display for the next generation. A nation that's underperforming not simply on matters of policy, but on matters of character. And that's not just disappointing, it's downright infuriating. She called on people to turn out to vote in this election like they did in 2008 and 2012. Now, Joe Biden will accept the Democrats' nomination on Thursday. On the agenda for tomorrow, his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, former Secretary of State John Kerry, and former President Bill Clinton. Doug? Carol